Hello everyone and welcome to Fifth North. I'm Demir and today I want to show you my new favorite travel backpack. Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you are brand new thank you for stopping by and checking it out. Today I will be covering the 45 liter travel backpack from Peak Design. Now if you guys have been following my channel for a while you do know that it's all about my moto and photo journey and a lot of times that actually does include travel. Just recently, actually, I flew out to SoCal um, to review to review a couple of bikes, and I got to take out this 45 liter bag as my travel companion. So, um, in the last nine months or so, I've gotten to do a couple of different trips, a couple of different um, journeys, if you will, that required both photo gear and personal gear, things like clothes, stuff like that. And I do have to say that this 45 liter bag from Peak Design has performed absolutely flawlessly. So let's go ahead and take this video for me to show you guys some of its features and benefits, as well as talk about some of my favorite parts about the design. Let's go ahead and jump in. So looking at the outside of the backpack here, very clean and minimal design, which I really like and prefer. As you can see, there are no graphics, uh, minimal logos, nothing crazy going on, just very simple, very discreet, um, and it's kind of, really designed in a way to blend that way it's not calling attention to the fact that it's a camera bag and speaking of logos i mentioned earlier you know minimal logos there really is only one uh, it's going to be a flat black with just a slightly um, reflective peak design written out maybe you can see it maybe you can't but again very minimal very clean and so i do like that about the look now speaking of this 45 liter bag it's actually not 45 liters technically so let me go ahead and explain that. So the bag itself in the normal state is 35 liters, which is actually pretty perfect because for most airlines worldwide, 35 liters is the maximum carry-on size. So this backpack fits that, fits that need. Now, if you take this backpack, let me turn it on its side here. If you take this backpack and look on the side, there is a zipper here on the front. If you unzip that, that does give you actually expansion once this expansion is unzipped, this is how you get your 45 liters. So this was unzipped all the way around. You get that extra two, almost three inches here. That's gonna give you that 45 liter capacity. Now on the flip side, if you zip it back up, you go back to that 35 liter capacity, but then you also have these buttons up here and they're actually button tabs that you can collapse the front and it'll actually kind of buckle in on itself and you get a much more curved profile on the top. Um, this is actually going to reduce the backpack down to 30 liters. So you've got basically um, three different sizes. You've got the regular at 35, you've got the compressed at 30, and then you've got this part expanding to give you 45. The cool thing about the snapping it uh, shut at the top part is it does give you a little bit more of a sleek profile, kind of curves towards uh, your back. Also on top of that makes it a little bit easier with that curved top to slide underneath airplane seats or to place in two overhead bins because they are kind of curved, um, the bins themselves. So really cool how you can adjust it and get different sizes. All right, so looking at the bag as a whole, uh, overall construction is gonna be 400D um, nylon, which is really cool. Uh, it is a water resistant material. Um, the only difference on the material here is the whole bag is 400D, but the, uh, the actual bottom, if you guys can see, is a little bit of a different um, thickness and that's because it's 900D uh, versus the 400D that's everywhere else. This is really important that the whole bottom is 900D. It's even more water resistant, even more weather resistant. So this is kind of the business end of the bag, right? As you put it down on the ground, as you put it down possibly into something wet or dirty or whatever the case might be, wherever your adventures take you, the toughest part of the bag is at the bottom, which makes obviously the most sense, right? Now, the other thing I want to note on the outside is the amount of handles on this bag. So if you note on the bottom here, you've got a grab handle. If you look at the top, you've got a grab handle right there, right? If you flip it on either side of the bag, look at that, another grab handle, right? So there's actually a grab handle on every side of the bag, including, um, including actually the back here as well. So there's pretty much a handle for every side of the bag you grab from, which makes it very convenient to just kind of grab and go. Um, so a really cool design feature there is having a grab handle on literally every side of this backpack. All right, so now outside of the grab handles, you do also get these anchor points um, on the backpack. There's four up here in the front and they're actually all throughout the bag. There's some on the sides, some on the back, on the bottom, on the front, they're pretty much everywhere and they're extremely useful. So what you use these for 
is actually external carry. So yes, you can hook things onto them directly, or you can use these straps that come with the, with the backpack. The cool thing about the straps is they are adjustable for length. So this side here has the adjuster. You can go ahead and, um, you know, pull it, get it nice and adjusted, and it'll be perfect, whatever length you need. And then what you basically do is you take these tough uh, end clips here. You can see they're kind of, um, they're kind of pre-curved to perfectly grab onto one of the anchors. You line it up, you pull it, you hear that click, and you basically know it's secure. Once you have it like that, you can cross it, you can put it whichever way you need to to be able to carry whatever you want to carry. Now, you might be asking yourself, Demir, have you put a helmet on the back of this backpack using these straps? Perhaps. You'll have to uh, watch future videos to find out. I'll give you a hint. Yes, yes, I have. Um, so, not designed for that, but it does work for it. Now, you might ask yourself, well, what do I do with these when I'm done? So, when you're done carrying your jacket, your umbrella, your sleeping bag, whatever you might want to attach to your backpack, really cool part right here, if you guys see this flap, it's actually magnetic. You guys hear that? Those are magnets, right? Cool thing about that, right on the inside of it, you have anchor points. So what you do is you take one of these sides, you line it up to the anchor point, pull it in, click it, and now just like that, look at that, I've got two straps. So two straps come with it, you can obviously get more if you want to use more, but long story short, when you're done with them, you anchor it to that bottom, you hide them inside. This pocket's pretty deep, my hand's about right here, so you guys can see how deep that pocket is. But you slide them in there, magnetize it, and then when you lift the backpack, they're not going to fall out because the magnet keeps it sealed. So again, very cool system. You can do a lot of different ways to attach. Again, you've got sides, bottom, back, front, they're pretty much everywhere, these anchor points and it'll allow you to do a lot more, uh, have a lot more versatility with the bag on the outside. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about pockets. I'm gonna start on the one side here, but keep in mind both sides of this bag are identical. So what I show you on this side obviously applies to the other side. So a couple things to note, there's the grab handle again that I mentioned earlier. There's an anchor point right there. So like I said, they're everywhere. There is a very large pocket on both sides of the bag. You guys can see my hand goes all the way in. It is stretchy. There is a stretch piece right here, you guys can see that. It makes the pocket quite a lot bigger, but at the same time it sits flat when it's not in use. This pocket primarily for me, gonna be water bottle, tripod, that sort of stuff that fits in here. Again, I love the fact that there's one on each side. Some backpacks will give you a pocket on one side, a side access on the other. I don't like that, I like having two pockets, so I appreciate that. The other thing about this pocket, if you guys can see this, there is a zipper. It unzips and you actually have a hidden pocket, pretty large, almost my whole hand fits inside the entire flap here of the internal pocket. So right now my hands are in two different pockets. You got the one that comes in on top, you can put the water bottle or the tripod and then you got more of a skinny pocket behind the zipper. So I love this right here, really cool place to hide things that are kind of more sensitive that you want to keep secure. Or a great place, honestly, to store things like cables, extra batteries, all that kind of stuff. It zips right up, and you've got that on both sides again, so definitely extra storage, space, uh, extra storage space to make things super convenient. All right, so as we're talking about pockets, we're going to shift over to the top. If we slide over to the top of the backpack, you will see that we have this zipper pocket up here. Go ahead and unzip it. It's going to be a nice little pocket, not too deep, about the size. Let me rotate one more time. Um, about the size of my hand, as you guys can see, really great place to put things um, that are quick access, right? So if you want to slide your phone in there, if you want to put, you know, a notebook, pen, pencil, all that kind of stuff, it can fit in there. Really easy to get to, nice little um, side, uh, top access pocket. Let's go ahead and flip the backpack over and show you the stuff on that end. All right, so as we're looking at the back of this backpack, there is a ton, ton going on. This is a backpack after all, so you do have obviously straps. We'll get into those, there's a lot going on there as well. Let's start from the top here. You've got a handle again, as I mentioned, handles everywhere. There's one here, there's one here, there's one right here, right? So again, handles everywhere. This middle handle can also, oh, let me not drop that. This middle handle here can also serve as, you know, obviously a grab handle but it can also be your luggage pass-through if you want to put this on the top of a roller or something like that, you have the option to do that. Let's look at the straps, in my opinion. 
They are padded, they're nicely padded, they're comfortable, but they are not too fat and they're not overly padded, which sometimes is a problem. You do have a nice little part right here. You can see my finger goes through it. It's a little uh, loop hook thing you can attach things to. Nice subtle Peak Design logo here. And then this part right here is where the sternum strap attaches. So on the one side, you've got the sternum strap. You can adjust it. There's one, two, three different levels. And then obviously you go crossbody, attach it to the other side. The hardware is all metal. The um, strap here is adjustable. You do have a little adjuster here and then a little, um, I guess it's a elastic kind of material that'll kind of flex and let you adjust and keep the, uh, keep the strap in place. Now the cool thing about this is again, you've got three different levels you can use and then when you're not using it, you fold it back in on itself and you hook it up into one of these pockets and it's good to go. You might be asking yourself what these are. They are not included with the backpack, but every single Peak Design bag, every single bag I've ever used, period, has had these on it. These are Peak, uh, Peak Design capture clips. If you don't know what they are, check them out on Peak Design's website, but in my opinion, it is the number one accessory you have to have as a photographer or videographer. And they're so good, in fact, that I have two on every backpack that I currently use. And they're actually not even that expensive, so really great investment um, if you're into photo and video. Moving on from there, the straps are adjustable. Again, metal hardware, little adjusters. Grab it so that it doesn't flap around. You're good to go. As we work our way up, here's where things get a little bit interesting. Most straps are gonna be stitched or sewn into the top, which is great because that makes them secure, but the downside is, is they're very uncomfortable because as you move, they are stuck in one position because they are fully stitched or sewn on top. Um, totally forgot to mention, nice little Peak Design logo here as well. You guys might notice some of the scuff marks on the backpack. Um, if I haven't mentioned that already earlier, every bag that I show you guys, I have been using for at least three to six months. So if you do see scuff marks and stuff like that, it's not because it's brand new, it's because I've actually put it through its paces to be able to give you guys an honest opinion. So anyway, moving on from that, if you guys look at this right here, very, very cool design. This is a pivot point. It is a metal pivot point where your uh, straps are not sewed down, but they're actually on this point, which makes it so they can actually rotate. You guys can see that, how they rotate. Why is that helpful? Well, because depending on how you're built, your shoulders, your body mass, the way you walk, the way you stand, the way you lean, all that kind of stuff, this will pivot with you to make you more comfortable. You've got one on each side, so very convenient and very comfortable. Uh, moving on from there, we're gonna work our way down. This back pad here is nice and padded, very breathable, very comfortable. But as you're looking at it, you might notice two more pivot points. And you're like, wait a minute, Demir, these were pivot points for the straps. What are these for? Well. You'll notice this backpack does not have a uh, waist strap on it. Well, actually it does, it's just hidden. So right now, if you don't want the waist strap, the backpack is simple, backpack is clean. But if you actually reach in here, you can pull out a waist belt. Cool thing about the waist belt, same metal hardware. It latches together with this little hook here. You got one on each side, you latch them together. Very comfortable, very easy to use and you've got the same kind of padding on this um, waist belt as you do on the uh, shoulder straps. Now the cool thing is, like I said, if you wanna use it, it's there. If you don't wanna use it, you tuck it right back in, very convenient. On the outside of it, you also have these pass-throughs. You can hook up different things to it, including the capture clips that I showed you earlier, but very comfortable, very convenient. Again, when I'm done with it, slide it right back in out of my way, concealed and comfortable. Now, if you guys heard those snaps, let me do that one more time. That's right, magnets, one more time. I love, 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 love good use of magnets. So now you might look at this and say, well, that's kind of cool. What else can you do with that? Well, I'm glad you asked. I feel like an infomercial right now. I'm like, well, there's one more thing. That's actually Apple, not infomercial. Anyway, you can actually take your shoulder straps fold them on themselves, and you can actually slide them in. It's a little bit easier when you don't have the uh, capture clips because the capture clips make it a little bit more bulky. But what you can do when you don't have the capture clips, you still can even with the capture clips, but it's a little bit harder. Long story short, you can tuck in your shoulder straps, let the magnets clip. You'll notice on this side, 
I've got straps. On this side, I don't. Why would you want that? Well, in case you wanted to just carry the backpack like this, or by any other handle on it, or if you know you're gonna put this backpack underneath your seat in front of you in the overhead bin, if it's gonna go on a conveyor belt and you don't want the straps getting caught on things or being in the way, really nice way to tuck them in. Again, magnetic, flip the flap, pull the strap out, let the magnets hit and you're good to go. One more time, by the way, another anchor point. Like I said, they're everywhere and very convenient. All right, so let's work our way into the backpack. Now, this backpack is very cool because it has a very unique approach to how you get into the bag. When you buy a camera bag, you have to basically decide, do I want front access, do I want rear access, do I want a backpack that has side access, but if it has side access, I lose one of the two pockets. A lot of decisions and a lot of um, compromise has to be made there. The cool thing about this backpack is you basically get everything. So you already saw the two pockets. Now check this out, I've got these big zippers. By the way, these, these zippers are absolutely massive. Let me get this turned around so you guys can see it. They're very strong, very tough zippers. They're actually designed in-house by um, Peak Design, which I love. They felt like the zipper options out there weren't strong enough for them, so they made their own. Very nice track here, very well sealed. So you're gonna have very good weather resistance. And then this part's really cool. These are um, safety features, if you will. So if you see this little part right here, you actually can unbuckle it. And you've got this, uh, I think it's called Hyperlon, a uh, Hyperlon strap. And what you do basically is you bring your second zipper, you can actually slide this through the hoop and seal it. And that'll actually keep it from opening up all the way. Now, this is not fully like theft proof, but it's gonna make it a whole lot harder for a you know pickpocket to get their hand in there when they're sealed like this, right? So some cool options to kind of help protect you. Um, but let's go back to the access, right? So you've got these big zippers, they're very strong, very durable. And the cool thing is they zip all the way around. And if you zip them all the way around, you are going to have yourself a rear access bag. Now I'm not gonna show you the inside yet, but you kind of see the back panel opens. That gives you your typical rear access. If I zip it all the way back up, let's flip the bag on the side again. And now you're noticing there's more zippers. Now the one zipper as I already showed earlier is for the expansion, but now we have another set of zippers. And the cool thing about these zippers is it goes, I don't know if you guys can see this, it goes kind of like this all the way around. And as you guys can see, there's a zipper head here, and that zipper, and I'll flip it over to the other side so you guys can see it, that zipper comes all the way around the other side as well. What does this give you? This is gonna be your side access. You can actually unzip just this panel here, it'll make this open, and you've got side access, not on one side, but on both sides. Now you might ask yourself, Demir, why are you not opening it for us? because you'll notice my zippers are kind of stuck. I can't actually open them. Why are they like this? Well, they're like this because again, security. Let me show you. On the front side, we have another set of zippers. Really tough zippers as well. If you unzip this, this gives you your front access. So once again, you've got the rear access, you've got the front access, and you've got the side. Now, before we dive into this front, I wanna show you what's happening with, um, with those uh, other zippers. So if I flip it all the way back around, if I open up the rear access, you will notice that these are the zippers for that. These little tabs right here, if you tuck the zipper in, you can actually hook them onto this, and it's another safety precaution to keep your zippers from being tampered with. So now, when I tuck it in like that, you can't undo the zipper, you can't open up the side access. So really cool, convenient thing there, one on each side. Now let me actually undo all this so you can actually see what the side access look like, looks like, and then I'll show you the interior of the bag. <laughs> All right, so looking back at the side access, here's that zipper. If I go ahead and undo it, 
it'll show you the side axis of the bag. All right, so if we get back to the front, we can go ahead and unzip here. The front is gonna give you a couple of things. My first and favorite thing is this top pocket here. It is a thicker mesh. It does have good airflow, quite a bit of space. You can actually stick your entire hand in there. Um, let me set this over. Quite a bit of space. You can stick your hand in there. You got plenty of uh, room to work with. You also have these little dividers. You can stick things like pencils in there. These are a little bit wider, but you have some space with some organization. Another pocket below that. Pretty deep as well. You can fit stuff in there. Go ahead and zip it up. You're good to go. Moving further down, you have another pocket in here. This one is gonna be um, all mesh. Note that zipper right there. I'll leave it as that, but you can kind of see that zipper there. All mesh. And another pocket here, which is gonna be all uh, sealed. Another zipper, keep note of that. So this side here, usually what I like to do is I'll reserve this side for my clothes. The other side, I'll reserve my tech gear, my camera gear, all that kind of stuff. When you expand the bag to that 45 liter, this pocket gets bigger, gives you more room for your clothes and things like that. So kind of a cool thing to do where you can actually divide the bag and make it easier to work with. Now, you'll also notice there's a zipper all the way around. If you don't wanna divide the bag like I did, you can unzip this. This panel will actually roll, tuck into the bottom here, and you'll have one massive bag rather than a divided bag. So again, this, the versatility of this bag is truly amazing. Let's go ahead and seal this up. Let's flip the bag over and I'll show you the other side. All right, so when we go to get into the rear access, here's the back access. We'll go ahead and do it. And let's start with the, with the uh, flap itself. All right, so you guys will notice the inside here. One thing to really note about this bag, it has a light gray interior. I absolutely love that. I hate it when backpacks have a super ugly color or if they have black because black is kind of dark and hard to see, especially if like me, your camera gear is black. So you've got a black interior, black camera gear, low lighting, you can't see what you're doing. Having this bright light gray really helps. You've got a P Design uh, logo up here, tells you what it is, travel backpack 45 liter. This is gonna be where your tech can go. Quick uh, Velcro, and it gives you two pockets. There's one pocket that's gonna be the main pocket. This is gonna fit either a 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro, plenty of space. And then there's a secondary pocket, I don't know if you guys can see that here with the Velcro. That's gonna fit a uh, iPad Pro up to 12.9 inches or you can keep it as a place to put things like documents, folders, papers, whatever you need to do, but it's a good place to store all that kind of stuff. I love the Velcro tab too to keep everything closed. All right, let's go to the actual body of the bag. See if I can organize all this, this doesn't fall on me. Okay, ignore this for a second. Back inside the bag, you guys can see plenty of space, right? Quite deep, so you got plenty of room to fit all your gear. And remember how I mentioned the zippers? Well, those pockets that I was showing you, they're actually accessible from both sides. So that's kind of the cool thing about it is you can actually get the pockets, this one and the one below it, from both sides of the bag. Now you might be asking yourself what this is. This is a camera cube from Peak Design. And this is why I love these bags. So the actual bag itself you can see has no dividers. It's just one big open space, which is cool because you can use it as one big backpack. But if you want to get more organized, you can actually pick up these camera cubes. I will be doing a full video on camera cubes and all the other packing gear that I use in these bags later on. But if you pick up these camera cubes, they themselves are actually what has the dividers and the camera gear. Um, this backpack carries three units. So you can do one, two, three, which basically what that means is you can do a extra small, small, um, small, medium, medium, large. There's different size cubes. Basically one that goes from here, one that goes all the way up to here and everything in between. So you can really organize your gear and have it exactly how you want it. Once you put the box in there, there's these black little connectors and you actually can clip them in to make sure that your gear is not gonna go anywhere. You see those little clips right there. Now what I love about these is 
I've had backpacks in the past where I've organized perfectly what I wanted. I've got my dividers all perfect, everything was great. I spent like an hour getting it right, maybe longer. And then I need to take them all out because I need to change the gear that I'm carrying. What I like about this is I have different kits that I've made. When I need all my gear, I've got a large cube that's pre-made with dividers for all my gear. When I need, for example, my drone kit, I've got a cube that has the dividers perfectly for my drone kit. When I need just one lens, one camera, I've got a box for that, right? A cube for that. So what's cool about that is I never have to re-mess up my dividers once I have them how I want them. All I have to do is unclip, clip, change cubes out, and I'm good to go. So very convenient, much easier. And again, once you get it going, you can have it exactly how you want it. They're really nicely padded, great dividers, all that good stuff. So cool thing about this backpack is it accommodates that entire cube cube system. All right, so now that I've had the chance to cover the entire bag with you, um, I do have to say that I really do like it and I really do enjoy what it offers. Honestly, I think this video at this point is probably something like 20 to 25 minutes long. And I feel like I still haven't shown you every single detail, every single feature, because there's just that much going on um, with this bag and really in a good way. It's not overwhelming, but really a lot of great features and a lot of great benefits. So hats off to Peak Design for the absolutely fantastic design and absolutely fantastic execution with this bag. And really thinking about all the different ways um, that us creatives travel and the things that we need when we travel. So um, with that being said, you guys, again, if you have been watching this channel for a while, you do know that I've gone through a really large number of bags bags it's almost kind of become an obsession i feel like i have a phd in camera bags um, but like all jokes aside though i have had so many some that were great some that were not i learned a lot from them i got to really figure out what works for me and what works as a whole and because of that i do feel that i'm very qualified to say that this bag is absolutely fantastic matter of fact with all the bags that i've used reviewed um, owned this one has become my favorite go-to and the one that i currently travel with so i do think that's really high praise for me to have swapped out pretty much all my bags for just this one bag for travel. So again, hats off to Peak Design for making a fantastic bag. If you are a creative or any other person who travels with both personal gear and photo or video gear, I do highly recommend you check it out. With that being said, if you guys like this video or if you like the 45 liter travel bag, hit that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well as it does help my channel out quite a bit. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.